Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to get a cool triangle effect that you've seen probably in many hard surface designs. But real quick guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D, and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course, link is in the description. Let's continue. So we're gonna do this using splines. So first of all, I'll create a, a basic shape using this spline system. 3ds Max is a really cool spline system. All right, let's go with something like that. So how can you get really cool triangles inside of here? So I don't recommend filleting at this point because if you fill it, you will make things more complex and it'll just be more difficult. We can always fill it later. So we're going to select the spline and we're going to use outline to create this outline right here. So here's where you decide how much distance you want here. All right. And we're also going to go ahead and to detach that. So detach is down here. All right. So next we're going to go ahead and create rectangles all right and now i'm going to go ahead and kind of rotate that let's go with uh, 45 degrees here and clone that out and do you know, this right here and actually let's go with uh, maybe one more here All right, let's go with something like that. So we're gonna select these four and we're gonna isolate them. We're gonna go ahead and I'll press G to turn off the grid. We're going to go ahead and to attach them. Right now we'll go into spline and we're going to use trim. Let's see, trim to cut away all of this right here. So 3ds Max definitely has an underappreciated spline system, but hopefully after this video, you will appreciate it more. And now I can delete these here. All right, now I'm going to select all the vertices and we're going to weld them together. So that is right here, weld, all right. So at this point, we can apply edit spline and I'm gonna go ahead and control A and do a little bit of fill it right there. Oops, we'll make sure they're all set to corner. There we go. We can spend more time getting our more custom results here. All right. So now we can, uh, if we want this as a frame, so if you just want it to be kind of hollow here, you can uh, fill it that. Let me make sure they're all set to corner. You go ahead and fill it that. All right, then we're going to go ahead and attach this. And we're going to go ahead and extrude. And here is our really easy uh, frame mesh right here. But if you want that not to happen, if you want it not to be hollow, you can go ahead and put a spline here. Just do a fillet. All right, you can uh, extrude that. All right, let's give that a 10. And we'll select other ones. We'll also extrude that. We'll move that up. And we'll boolean away. So there we go, guys. These are two really cool effects that you can get. So what we can also do to have more visible is that you can select this right here and you can scale to get you know, just more visibility of what you've got going on here. And just like that, guys, is how you can get really cool details with using 3ds Max's spline system. Thank you for watching and take care.